It's the 83rd New York Daily News Golden Gloves Championships. After over three months of fighting and over 300 bouts, we arrive at Madison Square Garden for the championship, and there's only one way out, and that's to fight. Therese Garcia, hey, nice job Thank out there. You. Tell us, uh, was it what you expected? Or? Um, it was what I expected, but she's a good fighter. I mean, she won the gloves last year. At least I had the privilege to fight somebody that was hard. You know, I, it wasn't something easy. It was fun, though. It was real fun. And are you going to come back next year? I'm thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> and where are you training out of? I'm training out of um, Spartan Boxing Club. And my trainer is Will Zito and also um, Derek, a great trainer. He's been with them for six years. It's my first time competing this year, though. Well, what happened out there that you didn't expect? She threw more punches. <laughs> she did. That's all it was. I expected the hit. I expected all that. I just didn't expect all the punches. <gasps> Yeah, it was my first year though. I'm planning to come back again. Nicole Dean, as I was, I remember you from this summer working out at uh, Kingsway Gym. Great performance out there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that uh, fight. It was a tough fight. I mean, you know, you go in with a game plan, but you just gotta adapt and make changes. She's a tough fighter. I was hoping to box her a little more, and use some more technical experience, but she wanted the brawl, so we had a brawl. She said she threw, as, as we were looking, a lot of punches out there. Uh, that was a, was a big surprise, she said, for her. She didn't think he would throw that many. Yeah, I mean, you know, you just go out there with a rush of emotions and you just do what you train to do. So throwing a lot of punches is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So what's next for you? Um, I definitely want to keep going with the Golden Gloves. Um, you know, we're going to try and do nationals this summer and just stay busy, just as busy as we can. Hey, what was it like fighting in the garden? You know what, it's an experience unlike any other, you know. I mean, coming back here for a second time, it's just, you never think it's going to be as, you know, nerve-wracking as the first, but it is. So, it's fun. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. My name's Marlon Brown, and I train in Rockaway Ropes. And, and, Rockaway. and tell us, look at this. This is, this is it. This is what you were fighting for. Yes. <laughs> tell us about your training. Um, every day, I go to a gym around 7 o'clock. And I train for two hours. I train day in and day out. Yeah. Who's your mentor? Um, my dad. Your dad? Yeah. How does he help you? He helps me a lot. He keeps me on track and makes sure I do the right thing I'm supposed to do. And, and who's your favorite boxer? Floyd Mayweather. Oh, you like Floyd? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, talking about Floyd, what do you think about Floyd and Pacquiao? What, what do you think happened there? I think... I think Floyd's a better boxer. You think Floyd's a better? And what about Floyd and, May and Mosley? Um, I don't really pay too much attention about him, but he's all right. He's all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, congratulations there. Hey, say a shout, shout out to your fans. I'd like to shout out my mom, my dad, and George Washington, the legendary trainer George Washington. He said I could do it. He said one day I'd be a champion, and I did it. And I'd like to shout out my coaches. Rockaway Rose, they train hard with me every day. Is this your coach here? Yeah, Kenyatta. Come here for a second. T t tell us about this gentleman here, your fighter. I'm, I'm speechless. One of, one, of, one of the best kids I've dealt with. A bunch of talent, and he listens. Didn't listen tonight, but he listens. Chanel Mathis, now this isn't your first time here at the Garden. This is number three. It's the third time. The third time? Third time's a charm. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. T tell our audience a little bit about that fight. Man, I, you know what? I didn't stick to my game plan, and it got too close for comfort for me. Like, I should have just been boxing, keeping that jab going, jab going. But she kept coming at me, so, you know, that kind of fussed me a little. But I came through with the win, and I'm happy for that. But I could have done a lot better, like... That was not my best performance, but it was all right. I got the win, and that's what matters. What was your original game plan? Man, just to keep her on the outside, but she kept coming in. I was supposed to keep that jab going the whole time, just jab, 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 but she kept getting in, and I was getting a little frustrated. So, <laughs> But it's all right. I came through. That's, that's all that matters. As a female, what brought you into the fight game? Man, you know, I, at first I did it just to work out and lose weight. I was really overweight, but I got into it as I kept going and going, and it, 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 it was like, like a passion for me, so... Like, I just, I love boxing. I just want to do it for the for as long as I can. <laughs> who, are, who are some of your favorite fighters? Man, I'm a Floyd Mayweather fan. Love Floyd. I love Pacquiao. He's just amazing right now. And 
you know, I wish they would fight already and get it over with. <laughs> what did you think about that fight? What, what, what happened with Mayweather and Pacquiao? I, was, thanks, Artie. It's my stepfather right here. Oh, here, you best, must be. Best, best right here. Yo, bring everybody on. We're taking all comers. It's the best right here. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, you know what? They, they, I think it was the whole drug testing, but I don't know. I just, I just want the fight to happen already. <laughs> Well, listen, congratulations. Thank you so much. And, and I'm looking forward to you. Four. We'll go four. for four. I sure will. I sure will. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.